Mose and welcome back to another Create a Sim Makeover video. In today's video, we are doing a makeover for Araminta because she is now the Empress of Glimmerbrook. So if you are new to my channel, I have a royal family series and this was Princess Araminta, um, but her father did pass away. So she is now Empress Araminta. So we will be having her version of a coronation ceremony soon. It will probably be a little bit different than the coronation ceremonies of my other kingdoms. But for Araminta, it's probably not going to be the next episode, but probably the one after that. Because I do have to prepare a few other things. But I at least wanted to get her outfit done and pick that because I just got so excited and I got to download a few more things too. I also did change her hair a bit. So this hair is by Enrique77, or maybe it's just Enrique. Um, but I will put links to her like iconic outfits in the description below. And I'll also put links to some of her hair as well because I love it. I made it a little bit longer. So I do love the other one that Araminta always had, but it just kept clipping on her ear. And unless I like pulled the ear out a lot and made it like huge, otherwise it wouldn't clip anymore. But it looked so good on her besides that. But this hair I think looks really good. It's just a little bit straighter. And then I use another hairstyle that you guys will see a lot later too. And then I use some of the skin details as well. So I'll be linking the hairs and the outfits in the description below. But we will be focusing a lot on Araminta and Han and the Glimmerbrook Royal family for the next several episodes. Kind of like how Amira was our, I mean Amira is still our main character, but Araminta has kind of like, we're focusing more on her story now because it's just a very big storyline with a lot of parts to it. So I'm gonna need a lot of episodes to get that done, kind of like with Amira too. So you guys will be seeing a lot of her and of Han and Han's family and Araminta's family for a while. So I hope you guys like her. We'll definitely get to learn more of a background from like Anya too and Takashi as well. But I thought I would take this time to kind of explain a few things about Anya and Araminta's history because you guys know that they are twins and Araminta is older so therefore she is the heir but even though she's only older by a few minutes and I think I've mentioned in the past like when I first introduced Araminta and Anya that Anya was like the mean one and Araminta was like the good one uh, but it's like a lot more complicated than that too basically Anya she is much more like I want power like she's more attracted to power she wants to be empress she wants she wanted to be the heir for so long but her sister has always been the heir and the law is that the oldest child is the heir so it's not like a whoever is better, the emperor, like their father would pick or anything like that. Anya has made several attempts to try to convince her father to make her the heir so she could become empress, but they never really worked. And he just thought that she was being rude and disrespectful for asking him to like break the law, even though he can like help make the laws too, but there's a bunch of other people that help make the laws in Glimmerbrook as well. And then with their mother, Mei Lin. So Mei Lin has always kind of favored Araminta. Her and Araminta are just a little bit more similar. So like none of the kids are really that close with their father, but Anya was at least closer to her father than she was with her mother because her mother just thought like her mother's very good and um, she was kind of stuck in this marriage with their father that she didn't really want to be in, but she was still very good and she was very close to Araminta and she was very compassionate and had a lot of empathy for Araminta. And then with Anya, she just didn't understand why Anya, like Anya doesn't have any empathy. She's not compassionate and their mother would just say like on multiple occasions if she ever heard Anya saying something like really mean or anything she'd just be like what is, like what is wrong with this child like that kind of thing like basically implying that she thought Anya was kind of like a monster just she just knew that she wasn't I don't know she just knew something was off about her I guess so then Anya of course had to live with that as well but then again I think Anya also knows that she can be mean and that she can be a little bit evil like she knows and I think she's kind of proud of those things too like all she really cares about is power more than really anything else so like she knows she's those things but like then again she doesn't really care that she's those things as long as she gets what she wants but she's also not getting what she wants so that's the hard part too so I mean Anya and Araminta just fought all the time when they were kids like when they were little like Anya would like steal Araminta's things because she wanted them and all this stuff and Araminta she, I mean she has a backbone too like she had learned eventually to stand up to her sister at first she didn't really stand up to her as much, 
but then she learned eventually to stand up to her a little bit more. And then that's how she just became like more of a leader and got more strength. She got a backbone and it's really all thanks to her sister. But we'll definitely see those things more as this series progresses. And then with Araminta and Han, so from the, not the last episode, but the one before that where we're, where the title was Finding the Emperor's Killer. So in that one, you guys were saying too that you think that Araminta might be able to see more that Han could be a good father because he's a really good uncle to his nephew. And that's it's definitely true like after his sister princess Tai had said those things about just keep an open mind and like she's realizing now that there are other marriages that are arranged marriages that are still happy and i think that that just kind of opened her eyes a little bit more because what she really had against this arranged marriage is one the whole thing with charles that she had a breakup with charles and then it ended up leading to Charles, not cheating on her, but kind of cheating on her. Um, so that just broke her heart and she was really upset. And then also the fact that it is an arranged marriage and she's never wanted to be in an arranged marriage. Like she thought that she would be able to marry Charles one day because he's a prince and that her father would be okay with that, but then it just ended up not working out. So that is just kind of her view on the whole arranged marriage thing. And then she grew up seeing her parents not being in a happy marriage. And I'm sure there's other relatives as well that she known that we're in arranged marriage that just were completely broken marriages so she's been against it but then knowing that princess Tai and then seeing princess Tai with her husband and them being happy together i think that just opened up her eyes a little bit and then of course princess Tai was just like you just gotta keep an open mind and otherwise you're not going to be happy if you don't so she was like okay and then she got to see Han playing with his nephew and I think that she just never really allowed the chance to get to know Han like she doesn't talk to him too much like she was very closed off but I think now she might be a little bit more open she might talk to him more and like ask him things about him too because she's never really taken the time to learn anything about him either just because she was so unhappy to be in an arranged marriage and then you guys got to see too how Prince Han he just gets so flustered around her and Prince Han like he's very quiet he's a loner but he doesn't usually like he's shy but he doesn't usually get that flustered like he's a little bit more angsty and just doesn't like to talk that much like very teenage boy kind of attitude but with Araminta he just gets super shy super flustered he blushes all the time around her and it's so cute and it's really only around Araminta that he does that with and Princess Tai his sister can definitely tell that he likes Araminta because she's never really seen him like that with anyone else so she 100% knows so she's like pushing him to talk to Araminta, to ask her out on like actual dates and just like text her and like call her that kind of stuff. And Han's just way too nervous to do that. But I think his sister is helping encourage that too. So we'll get to see more of Araminta and Han because they will be going on their first date soon. And then Araminta is going to meet his family and stay with Han for a weekend as well. So we'll get to know a lot more about Han and his backstory. And I'm so excited to show you guys and to tell you guys his backstory too, because I love his character so much and he seems to be a favorite character right now. Like it seems like a lot of people like him and I'm very happy that you guys do. We'll definitely pay attention to some of the other characters as well. As I've mentioned before in the past, it just kind of alternates storylines just because there's so many characters. So we'll definitely do that. We'll have like definitely a few main characters and then we'll have some smaller characters and some supporting characters too. So it is like a TV show, but I'm very, very excited for this, you guys. I'm so excited to just get more into to their story and for you guys to get to know these characters more. I'm so glad that you guys love these characters as much as I do. I love, for those of you who have been on my streams, on my Twitch streams, or have seen them after we are live, I just have so much fun with that and hanging out with you guys and getting your inputs. I just love so much how invested you guys are with these characters because I love them so much and I love creating these stories of them for you and entertaining you guys because I know this is a really hard time that we're going through right now too. So I'm glad you guys are able to be entertained by my YouTube channel and by my streams and by my Instagram stories as well. So I kind of have little stories everywhere, my Instagram and Twitch, and you guys know my YouTube obviously because this is on YouTube, but my Twitch and Instagram usernames and my Twitter are in the video description below. And that's where you will be able to find the link to my Pinterest board with all of my Royal Custom content and also the link to some of these outfits and hairs as well. And I am just so, so excited for you guys to try this 
stuff because this is great custom content. I wish there was more. There is not enough custom content in the world, um, but I need more Asian custom content for sure. But I love the stuff that we found. They're so cool. Yeah, Aramint is one of my favorites. I love these outfits on her. She looks like a queen. I mean, she's an empress, but she's a queen too. And it's just awesome. I love her so much. But anyway, I hope you guys like these outfits and I hope you guys like this cream and makeover video, getting to see all my custom content. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.